Distinguished Gentleman's Ride is a international ride uh, um, that started in Sydney, Australia. Nakadamit tayo lahat uh, para yung, yung stigma ng mga tao sa, sa bikers eh uh, subukan mabago and at the same time nakakatulong sila. Ang advocacy ng DGR ng Distinguished Gentleman's Ride ay nakatuon sa prostate cancer research and awareness at tinali din nila sa advocacy nila ang men's mental health in particular ay suicide prevention so this year nakaraise kami ng almost 4000 US dollars para sa cost sa lukuyang uh, nagaganap itong briefing sa DGR Distinguished Gentleman's Ride 2017 dito mismo sa CCP Grounds sa may Pasay City ang feeling dito uh, medyo ano eh medyo good vibes lang dahil iba't ibang klase ng bike iba ibang genre uh, magkakasama you know, mostly classic bikes uh, may nakikita akong maliit malaki no, classic scooters, may trackers, may bobbers, at uh, merong mga you know, modern classic bikes, gaya ng dala natin ngayon. So, lahat sila nagtitipon-tipon dito. Ito na siguro yung ano, pinakamalaking gathering ng mga classic looking bikes, classic looking motorcycles dito sa Pilipinas. So every year lang ito nagaganap. Napakasaya ng, ng atmosphere sa ngayon. Oh, Is this your first time? Yeah, yeah. Anong, uh, anong pakiramdam na anong you're going to be... Anong nagpudyok sa akin? Uh, anong pakiramdam? <laughs> anong pakiramdam? Ang daming riders. I saw, I saw the videos oh. last year. So, sabi ko, wow, saya nito. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided to join. And of course, uh, Good course, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Enjoy, Pari Go. Alright, you too. Rock and roll, sir. Is this your uh, second time? First, first time? time? First time? Yeah. Okay. And what do you expect from the DGR this year? Uh, well, I'm expecting to see a whole lot of great bikes right. I'm already seeing. Uh, and, uh, the guy who things. started this DGR is from Australia. I know, I heard. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like the fact that it's uh, trying to promote men's health and especially uh, trying to help people with prostate cancer. So that in itself, I think, is, is a reason enough to come out. But then seeing all the great bikes and, and mm -hmm. everyone, all the enthusiasts out mm -hmm. here having a great time and getting to know each other is even mm -hmm. better. It's somewhat refreshing to see the Filipinos all dressed up, no? <laughs> uh, for the, just for this ride. Not quite uh, ready for the heat, but uh, yeah. In spite uh, of the heat, I mean. In spite of the heat. And, uh, but it's good that we're doing it on the Sunday, so less oh. traffic, um, less smoke. But nice to see everyone dap it up. All right. Yeah. Have a good ride, Pariko. Thank Mark. you a lot. Sir. Pariko. Day. Nakit, Day. last year. Wala. First time. This is your first, first time. time. Okay. First time. I know, bro, what expect you from DGR? Um, Wow, it's a it's a theatric ride that uh, I've been riding for almost 20 years. Yes, yes, yes. But the uh, first time that uh, I joined uh, DGR. Something like this. Yeah, something like this. Oh, hindi mo hindi mo inexpect na ganito talaga yung. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And Filipinos can do this, pala. Okay. And congratulations to the group, the organizers. The organizers. Gentlemen's ride, pero may mga ano tayo? May mga ladies in the house. How does it feel to support uh, a cause, a ride like this, to be part of this DGR? Definitely, it's great to be you know, like doing something you like and supporting mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes it's like when you do the rides, yeah. sometimes you feel you're just riding for yeah. your own thing. Nakakataba lang yung breakfast ride ng breakfast yeah, ride. Right. It's so nice to actually do oh. something for a boss. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Enjoy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Anong kalokohan to? Nasaan mo stash mo? Medyo okay. ano, nakakasindap to kasi this is Jay Tarukai. I mean, uh, this is, you're interviewing the master interviewer here, right? 
So you're here uh, every year in DGR, right? Yeah, oh. um, pretty much from the, the first one I missed out, it wasn't still the official DGR. I think it was called Magino Origin at Magino Origin, yeah. And then, that's it. That's official, it's going to be here. So, Yun, bigger and bigger, no? you know, observation. Yeah. No? Saka, ano, mas consistent na yung sumasaling bike. Okay. Um, people are now following instructions. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, uh, yung, yung, yung itinerary po sa atin ng DGR uh, headquarters na susunod na. <laughs> <laughs> so ngayon, parang mas informed na yung riders makikita. Yeah, ako, I ba? guess, uh, to the ad and social media, mm -hmm. mas, mas makulit ngayon yung mga organizers na uh -oh. give the information. Mm -hmm. And they're more passionate na, no? Pag tinanong mo sila, alam na nila yung Ano ito eh? Para sa prostate cancer, oh, para sa, sa suicide prevention. Para sa prostate cancer, tsaka suicide prevention, depression, mental illness, which I think are mm -hmm. cancer. Grabe problema rin yung mga Okay. Grabe. Okay. Okay. Gentlemen, I accepted from Mr. J. Daru. So, um, um, I was thinking, uh, yun nga lang, uh, problema ko sa mga event na ito when you're covering it. Hindi ako makadala ng motor. Kasi tayo gamit eh. Ah, so, okay. 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 Asa na ako, Chica? Okay. <laughs> Daya. Okay. Daya. <laughs> Powered by Patron Sprint 40, Hitch Pro, Loctite, Biker Box, Dickies. Okay, is this your... Are you still the same? We're still the same. We're Pumiksena ang Ride PH sa Distinguished Gentleman's Ride kamakailan at gaya ng lahat ng sumali. Hashtag on point ang OOTD namin. Kurbata, leather shoes, jackets, mainit man, tiis ganda na lang. Marami nagtataka, no? On the way here, ang dami napapatingin. Nakasuit yung mga riders, yes, yes. nakatay, kompleto form. Bakit ba ginagawa? Just to reiterate, no? Bakit, yeah, yeah. bakit ginagawa ng mga riders ngayong araw na ito? Yeah. Yeah. Kaya ginagawa natin na kailangan natin naka-formal, naka-dress up. Mm -hmm. Dahil we want to create awareness mm -hmm. for prostate cancer. So isang event siya for that. Mm -hmm. Na naka-dress up tayo, mga classic bike. Mm -hmm. Nag-create tayo ng awareness for them. Ano ba yung event na yun? Hmm. So, kita nila, ah, sige, search nila. Ah, yung pa rin dyan, almas, right? For prostate cancer pala yun. Bukod pa riyan, magandang pagkakataon din ito para sa mga riders na makita ang mga tropa. Anong feeling na naka-forma tayo ngayon? At uh, formal na formal? Kompleto with both eyes. Hindi ka sa... Makati, no? Makati! Makati! <laughs> Kayo po ba yung matanglawin? Matagal na po ko tagahangan yung sir. Sir Kim, Sir Kim. Ano po? Go to Sir Lee. Taga mo na, una kong tanong sa'yo, ano bang panahon sa araw na to? Meron tayong bagla sa London Philippine Area of Responsibility si Bagyong Nando. Ngunit si Nando ay walang epekto anuman sa ating ride ngayong umaga. Dahil ito'y palayunan ng Philippine Area of Responsibility at ang habagat ay tumigil. Talagang nag-weather forecast tayo ngayon. So makakaasa tayo ng 50% chance of rain sa alas 4 ng hapon. Boss, anong pakiramdam to be part of this DGR this year? Well, actually, Jay, it's my first time. Okay, okay. Pinakaunang pagkakataong nakasali ng ganito. Nakakatuwa eh, kasi pare nakahanap tayo ng pare-pareho natin eh. Si Jay kasi matagal ko ng kaibigan to. Pareho kami yung baliw. Matagal na kami yung nakakolekta ng mga scooter, ng mga bagay-bagay sa bahay, mga silya, at kung ano-ano pa man. Pero first time na first time ko nakasali sa mga taong pareho natin. Okay, okay. It's so nice to be a part of a community, you know? Pati, Jay, alam mo naman tayo. Ako, hindi ako hindi ako sanay sa mga ganito. Kinakati ako pag nakagano. Pero nakabod tayo. Pero ngayon, ang dami natin dito. Pare-pareho tayo ng poema. Sarap. Siyempre, every year, dumadoble yung bilang ng sumasali sa DJR. Ano masasabi mo sa mga riders dito? Ang advice ko sa lahat ng mga riders, 
delikado ang sumakay. At pag alam mong delikado, nababawasan ang pagkadelikado. Pag sumakay ka ng motor at inisip mo na hindi delikado, mamamatay ka. So, number one should be safety. Hindi ko ako marunong ka magpatakbo ng motorsiklo, sasakay ka na ng motorsiklo. Maraming mga batas ang lansanan, maraming batas ng pagsakay, at kinakailangan patutunan mo na bago mo tawagin ang sarili mo na, okay. na rider. Pag-aralan ng skills at disiplina. Skills, safety, oh. and road discipline. Oh. Dahil dyan, ang buhay ay weather-weather. Weather-weather lang. Okay. <laughs>
At ano-ano nga ba ang mga parting na bago mula sa original na classic bike kumpara sa modern classic version nito? First up, ang iconic British motorbike na 1959 Triumph Bonneville T100. Itong Triumph Bonneville, ito yung masasabi mo na quintessential modern classic bike. Wala dun sa kanyang uh, wide spoke wheels. Dun sa cockpit. Dun sa hand sculpted gas tank. Pagdating naman sa detalye, yung gold coach lines hand-painted din. Pinirmahan pa nung mismo nag-hand-paint nung tanke. At yung paggamit niya ng pea shooter pipes, hindi ka magkakamali, na hinugot sa sinuunang panahon ang motorsiklong ito. Yung makina, modern na, you will inject it. Pero mukhang carburetor pa rin ang ginagamit nito sa engine. Itong Bonneville T100, hindi ka magkakamali na malalim ang heritage nito sa British motorcycling. Ang motorsiklong ito ay naging pamoso rin sa classic Hollywood films at sinakyan ng mga silver screen greats tulad nina Marlon Brando, James Dean, Clint Eastwood, at syempre si Steve McQueen. Preferred ride din ito ng music legends na sina Bob Dylan at Motorhead frontman Lemmy Kilmister. Bukod sa Triumph, may isa pang kilala na modern classic bike na sikat na British brand. Royal Enfield started as a, as a British brand and then they started manufacturing needles. After the needles, it became bicycles and then eventually guns. Hence, we have Royal Enfield rifles being used in World War I and even World War II. Then eventually, it developed into motorcycles, which we have the modern classics right now, the Royal Enfield. Uh, Royal Enfield classic, chrome, especially the uniform. Sa modern classic kasi since 1955, hindi na nagbago yung styling. Knowing the heritage behind it, uh, Royal Enfield being also the longest uh, running motorcycle company and brand na hindi na close since 1901. Being a modern classic, this is a 500cc engine. Disc brake in front, drum brake at the back. Tapos, even the styling, yung chroming niya, yung chroming niya goes back to the 1950s also. May nirelease talaga during those times na chrome. Though merong chrome maroon, chrome red, uh, together with the other brands before, during that time. And even now, binalik nila with modern touch na. Hence, it's, it's a genuine modern, modern classic. By experience, wala pa kaming nababalita na nangalawan. You know, Indian-made motorcycles are solid. 90%. To 95% bakal, but without the heaviness of a motorcycle. This portion is powered by Scooter Depot, PTT Lubricants, Ride Manila, Kohala Bay Resort, Spider Philippines. Okay, Telly, iba't ibang klase ng motor, iba't ibang klase ng helmet ang kailangan, no? Sa vent kasi meron para sa mouth, okay. mouth area, dyan sa, sa ulo. Sa head. Uh, para hindi mainit ulo. <laughs> Noong 
2014, 56% ng mga naaksidente sa kalsada ay mula sa mga nagmamotorsiklo ayon sa Philippine Statistics Authority. Ang dapat priority ng bawat rider, bahagi ng iba yung pag-iingat, ang pagsusuot ng protective gears para masiguro ang kaligtasan sa lansangan. Una sa listahan, ang paggamit o pagsuot ng helmet. Kasamang kaibigan natin na isang batikang rider at pwede na rin siguro maituring na isang helmetologist na si Telly Buhay. Inalam namin kung gaano kahalaga ang pagkakaroon ng matibay at maasang helmet. Okay, Telly, iba't ibang klase ng motor, iba't ibang klase ng helmet ang kailangan. No? So ano ba itong una natin? Oh, Unang-una, uh... Uh, isa sa pinaka-basic ng helmets natin, yung okay. full face. Isa full face? Full face. Okay. Simplest okay. na helmet eh. Uh, ito yung pinaka-safe. Okay. Ito yung ginagamit sa mga racing. Mm. Kasi maximum protection. Dahil buo siya eh, di ba? Oo. Oh. Uh, less moving uh -huh. parts. Okay. And solid talaga yung pagkakagawa niya. And yung some of our full face helmets, mm. they come with uh, inner lens. Ayun, inner lens. Tapos ang mahalaga pa sa rider yung mga vents eh, di ba? Uh, okay. Sa vents kasi mayroon para uh -huh. sa mouth, okay. mouth area, then sa, sa ulo. Sa uh, Para hindi mainit ulo. <laughs> and then you have the padding also, the safety pads. No? Uh, uh, washable ba yung mga yun? Washable. Yes. Okay. Removable and washable lang okay. yung uh, inner line. Okay. So this is actually oh. a full face then. Okay. Pero nag-open yung front part niya. Okay, okay. Uh, Which is very convenient. Uh, convenient, oh. kain. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we have the inner lens then. The good thing about this, uh, if uh, pwede siya sa road, mm -hmm. At the same time, meron na siyang inner lens mm -hmm. and kung mahilig kang mag-off-road, you mm -hmm. can just remove the lens and ah. replace it with the others. Ito, medyo pagwapo na ng pagwapo. Ha? Ito uh, yung mga... Oh, oh. Um, ang reason mm -hmm. siya, bakit mm -hmm. ganito yung design niya. Okay. So, wala siyang lens because mm -hmm. uh, most motocross riders prefer goggles. Bakit mas uh, convenient ang goggles? Mas wala pumapasok na uh, element sa mata mo. Ayun. So, okay, secured okay. yung goggles okay. and... Anong purpose nito? Ito? So, protects you against the elements then pag mm -hmm. nagmo-motocross ka so yung mga buhangin putik tumatalsik ah, just okay. uh, keep down your head mm -hmm. plus siguro yung tirik na araw Sen, yeah, may konti kang bubong na maliit no so, so sa araw okay. Okay. Uh, ganun din okay. pag mat matarik ang araw mm -hmm. gaganon mo lang ng konti helmet mo mm -hmm. okay ka na mm -hmm. and Itong mas malapad na, mas ma-protruding na peak mm -hmm. para na mas, mas maganda yung circulation ng breathing. Yeah. And Ito the next helmet is? Hybrid or Adventure Helmet. Hybrid or Adventure Helmet. So okay. if you'll notice, this is a combination ng motocross kasi okay. meron siyang... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, itong, itong, itong parang bubong. Uh, then okay. yung mas, mala, mas malaking peak okay. okay. part. And of course, uh, meron na siyang lens. Ah, may lens na siya. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is for convenient for convenience naman. We call this an open face. Open face, uh, okay, okay. Or a quarter shell helmet. How much protection does it give? Almost the same protection ng full face, except the, the face. There's a reason kasi na mayroong mga riders na gusto na uh, exposed hmm. sa elements. Bakit? <laughs> alam mo na. Poggy points. Well, the freedom and all. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. but the good thing about this is it comes with the lens. May inner lens, lens. pa rin siya. Okay, okay. So, meron ka pa rin protection. Kung trip mo naman ang open face helmet na may touch ng iyong paboritong karakter, meron din sila rito sa Spider. Yung mga helmet, uh, hindi sila created equal eh. Diba? Sabi nga nila, merong mas mura, merong mamurahin, merong tama lang, tapos merong high-end. Uh, Siyempre, kung ako nagtitipid, gusto kong ma-maximize yung pera ko, and then I'd go for yung pinakasulit. Mm -hmm. An ano ang advantage ng mga ganitong klaseng helmet? Nasa, hindi naman mahal, hindi naman mura, yung tama lang. Okay, kasi sa, uh, sa branded uh, premium helmets, uh, you get a quality assurance. Okay. Uh, this, uh, yung rated ng DOT, okay. ECE, okay. Uh, pero uh, affordable pa rin. Okay. Affordable, uh, kayang-kaya, and I think we should not be compromising our safety. Correct. Bakit? Dahil ulo na dito. Oo, okay. ito yung most important part <laughs> uh -huh. ng ating katawan. Dito kasi, yung components niya. Yung mm. component yung pinakamahalaga. Okay. Yung okay. raw materials na ginamit. Na ginamit dun sa uh, shell, no? Una-una, oh, oh. dito pa lang sa, uh, sa helmet natin. Kasi yung iba, is recycled. Mm -hmm. Recycled materials. So, mm -hmm. medyo compromised na yung ano nun eh. Integrity. Marupok ba yun? Marupok? Uh -oh. Oh, and, oh. Ang pinaka-important part ng helmet is the, uh, yung 
yung tawag nilang EPS. Expanded full polystyrene. polystyrene. So yun yung parang styrofoam sa loob mm -hmm. na kulay puti. Okay. That's the most important part. Mm -hmm. Kung mapapansin mo, if, uh, ano, makapal. Mm -hmm. Mas makapal yung EPS neto okay. as compared dun sa mga cheap helmet. Bawat helmet brand may kanin-kanyang unique feature pero mahalaga rin piliin ang helmet na komportable suot para sa iyo. Kaya paalala namin mga paps, wear your safety riding gears properly always. Piliin ang helmet na sadyang gawa para proteksyonan ang iyong ulo. Tandaan, sa pagmamaneho, laging safety first tayo.